This is Deductor continuing the Lone Wolf Series 2 playthrough. In the previous video, we did some fights. We finally started doing fights. We killed some brigands and we beat a bunch of zombies. Uh, I am particularly proud of that zombie fight where our positioning was just beautiful. We got lucky, very lucky, that uh, none of my characters wearing sackcloths got hit at all. My Hedge Knight took some damage, but that's okay. Look at this loot. We got two tier two axes, uh, extra dagger, which is good, an extra spear, a short sword, like, and 350 uh, silverware worth of cutlery. Like, plus we get paid 300 crowns for finding that location. This is a fantastic result. We got some level up. Unfortunately, all these characters are pretty bad, but you know, what can you do? Uh, this character is bad. His initiative is fantastic, but you gotta combo that with good attack. Nevertheless, we could probably do something with him in Nimbo early game. Maybe even a Bannerman. I kind of want to see if we can get a better Bannerman than this. If you survive, you'll go Nimbo. And I'm just going to pick Colossus. If it were a good character that I'm probably going to keep, I'll take Student. But this is not a character I'm going to keep. So I'll just make them useful. The Monk. I mean, your problem right here is your 43 starting melee skill. You actually kind of have the right stats to be a tank. Huh. But I won't pass up this plus three melee row even for a tank. Like, what else am I going to get? Ranged? I'm not getting range with you. That doesn't make sense. Fatigue? What's your starting fatigue again? 98? That's pretty bad. Yeah, I might up hit points or resolve in the future. But early game, a little bit of melee attack. It doesn't even hurt on a tank. I might actually keep you around. <laughs> Like, as crazy as this is, this monk is literally my best character. And eh, maybe second best after the farmhand. You know what? Let's give you student. Alright, my farmhand. Terrible, terrible rows. Your starting stats, melee skill is not great, but 5 defense is solid. However, these are also terrible. Let's up... This uh, hit points, fatigue, resolve. It's kind of interesting because the Romans thought farmhands would make the best soldiers because they're used to hard work. And the uh, legionary training process, uh, let's just say, improve their resolve and discipline. Let's stack up that hit point. You're going to tank for us, probably with a dagger or some such. My fisherman. I mean, these are pretty solid rolls here. Take the four hit points at this stage of the game. What was your resolve roll? Three? Mm, I'll take the four hit points. I mean, this character is not long. Uh, his stats are just not good enough. He's got ego eye and one starting range, but it's just not good enough. And the servant. Oh, you got two stars in melee defense, but your other stats are so terrible. God, you need more fatigue. Let's give you Colossus. You should honestly use a sword, probably. But I don't want to equip the sword right now. Like, a sword is low on fatigue. Why are you even wearing the good armor? Um, if anyone should be wearing the good armor, it's the monk. Tank for us. Alright, do a spear. Who should use the dagger? Probably the fisherman. No shield. Maybe equip the buckler here in case I need it. Maybe. Got a new helmet. Um, we should also equip some uh, pitchforks. You know what? This equipping business is not very interesting. I'm going to pause the video, uh, re-equip my squad, and go back to Mullenheim. All right, I'm here to turning my contract. Um, he wants to give me 120 extra crowns to pillage the rotten hut, which I've already pillaged. I don't need the small amount of extra money 
I think if you do that, it ruins your reputation of the town. I don't care about that, but I also think it ruins your renown. And I do care about that. Um, renown, I need to get to 1,050 because that's how you unlock professional renown. And the best way is to do a lot of ambitions. Look at that. We are friendly, right? Get friendly, and we got friendly with Mullenheim. If I didn't do that, that, con uh, that ambition wouldn't have been completed. So that was a really good result. I don't really want these recruits and all the stuff here is going to be too expensive on account of the terrified villagers. So I'm going to pause the video as I go to Wolkenberg and see if I can buy some more goods. All right, I actually changed my mind. I wasn't going to make it to Wolkenberg before it was dark and the whole point of going there is to buy some stuff. So let's go back to Kroken. Cronin Cook. I can never pronounce the name of this town correctly. There are no contracts here. So there's a undead um, camp nearby, but we don't know the difficulty, so I can't go fight it with like cloth armor. Let's sail back to Kaywater, see what do we got here. Uh, am go to the Amber Collector, kill those vagrant vagabonds. Yes, I want to do this quest. This should be uh, some brigands. Is this runes? Yes. Good. We gain renown, so contracts should start paying even better. This contract, I believe, there are a bunch of brigand dogs, along with. Um, should put characters who actually have the next best attack. I think they have a bunch of dogs. Actually, how should I do this? You should have the pitchfork. I'm putting pitchfork on characters who have the best melee attack. Yeah, you should just use a spear now that I think about it. At this point, it's not even about who lives and who dies. It's more about who can actually hit. I'm going to equip a pitch. Well, I think that's better. I need to fatigue. Uh, you have more hit points and fatigue. You can do well with the dagger. All right. I guess you're using the pitchfork. Something like this. And I have some extra daggers. I very specifically chose not to equip some uh, gear. Because I don't want to waste the tools repairing them. That's how desperate things are. Yep. It's a few war dogs and some thugs. The war dogs are surprisingly dangerous. Against guys without armor. And I want to kill these brigands. Not a single one has a dagger or a mace. This one has a shield, so he's not dangerous. Unfortunately, his armor is bad. I want their armor. So, I'm going to do something a little unusual. I'm going to move my um, gambler one. Stab this dog, and then I'm going to immediately end my turn. Hopefully my initiative, because the gambler is real fast, will be good enough to go first again next turn. What's the initiative on this farmhand? Extremely good as well. So again, I'm going to hit, hit, and I'm going to immediately end my turn to see if I can go first. These dogs are not having a good time. Good, and we're confident. So I'm ending my turn immediately in the hopes of being able to go first next turn. That may not happen. There is a guy standing there. I only want to move the Hedge Knight to attack. My armor is not fully repaired, but it's okay. 
question is, do I do an AOE swing? Or do I stand here? I want to make sure my hedge knight doesn't get surrounded. This is the best position to avoid getting surrounded. These guys will be fine. And the spear is honestly the most dangerous. I'm not so worried about the axe. Axes hurt when they hit, but spears are so much more accurate. And we have paper armor, so we just don't want to get hit at all. Nice work. Beautiful. I mean, we wrecked their armor, unfortunately. Yep, I was able to move first, but my clever stratagem... Uh, it would have allowed us to alpha strike if you guys had killed faster. Oh well. It does allow us to... Ah... You can move up. I think how to position. I can move up, stab you, but then I would leave myself super vulnerable to getting counterattacked. I want to put you here to stab. Because you get a free turn. It would be silly not to go there. If I go here and shield wall, not good enough. They get four attacks on me. That's too many. If I go here, this guy could come up and hit me. Hmm. Really want to move you up to begin the stabbing process. What's your attack right now? 57? So you have about a 52% chance to hit the thug? That's not good enough. Then you get wrecked in the counterattack. My hedge knight's tanking right now, which is perfect. I actually think I play this turn a little defensively. We wait. Do I spear wall? If I spear wall, one of them moves here. Right, this one moves here. That guy probably moves there. By shield, by shield wall, this one moves here. That one passes. One thing to keep in mind is the gambler moves first. I want someone to come to this position. I'm going to shield wall. What are they really on? We get a slightly better defense anyway by shield walling. Um, 10. Yes, why is he really on 10? Our defenses aren't that good, but I'll take it. I spear wall now, it'll probably force this guy to do something silly. Ow, ow. That seems about right. Okay, I mean, he basically passed his turn. Beautiful work. I'm not going to move up so he gets a free attack on me. This guy was here, right? He, he needs to move and attack. I can actually step back one. Let him move up here to attack. Because if he moves here to attack, I can't stabby stab. Sneaky strats here. Eh, we're going to wreck uh, probably this guy's armor as well, but got to do it. Maybe not. Ooh, maybe we could get this guy's armor. He has a pierced arm muscle. He can't do much. This guy has a cut arm sinew. Good. Bye. Repel. That won't do anything. I'm gonna stab this one. So I'm gonna pass my turn. You lose initiative when you just wait. But my initiative might still be really good next turn because I have very little fatigue. Swap the dagger. Ah, they want to chase after my hedge knight. This guy's armor is so bad, we're just gonna attack. Fine. It's 
It's okay. That's perfectly okay. That's basically passing your turn. Good. This guy has a flail, a very weak flail. So having a shield doesn't actually do anything. Good. Um, are you, you're warmed up. So here's the question. I've used to never care about initiative and now I care so much about initiative. It's one of the few areas of the game that I don't understand very well. If I stab or puncture, right? The question here is, do you puncture now or do you wait until you get your lone wolf up to get a little bit extra bonus? So if I puncture now, right um I, my initiative will go down to something like 38 whereas if i wait and puncture after my lone wolf move it'll be because i lose an extra 50 percent no 25 percent it'll be about 30. so 30 or 38 i think this guy's gonna be faster than me anyway so i might as well wait Your turn is done, so I might as well stab. He's exhausted, so we're just trying to go for the kill here. Also breaking. I have a dagger on my knight. Might need to repel him of all things. Yeah, his initiative is pretty good. What happens if I do repel him? Or, ooh, no, we can stab here. Try to cause some morale problems. If I repel, ooh. Yes, go hit my hedge knight. Three turns, one turn. Let's try to cause a morale break. Like we win this by breaking their morale. I have a dagger here. Well. Now we might as well wait for him to attack. So I'm going to let him attack because I don't want him to run. <laughs> and he should do very little damage to my armor. What is it? Seven damage, yeah. I don't want him to run because I want to dagger down this guy's armor. Oh, what are these strats? All right, we've obviously won. I'm going to pause the video here as I farm this armor. Nice fight. I made sure to feed the kills to my hedge knight. We got two pieces of armor and a spear. I will take this result. This is a great result. No longer will my guys be equipped with paper armor ah oh, they will actually have some real armor for change beautiful gonna unequip these pitchforks because i don't want to be repairing them I mean, I don't really want to be repairing this spear, too, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to actually use the spear. Good. Now we go back to town. There was another contract there we could do as well. We need to buy tools, too. Hmm. Yep. Unfortunately, this next stage really sucks. Ah, that militia is too expensive. Can't afford him. Some sh... That's we could buy. This place is raided too. We have to escort the worker caravan. It actually takes a shockingly long time to do that. Ah, the horse racing event. I think if you're dumb, you can actually win. And the reward is pretty good. Uh, I hate doing stuff like look things up on a wiki. 
but it actually matters. And a dumb hedge knight is like so bad, right? As a starting trait, like if we can get any sort of advantage out of this, it's worth it. I am gonna pause the video here to look up this event, which I normally never do, but this is a turn-based game. I can take my time. Okay, I looked up the event. Uh, the Dumb Brother, I think, can win, but I don't know if I can send my Hedge Knight. And also, you get a severe concussion, so that character can't do anything. I kind of need my Hedge Knight to be, like, not injured. So I'm definitely not doing that event. Ah, it would have been fun. Uh, all the other choices, you lose money, which is very bad, because we cannot afford to lose any money right now. Not much crowns, but we got two pieces of armor. What is this? Hunt down the thing that terrorizes. Yep, now I'm not afraid. I was afraid earlier because we had paper armor. You don't fight like dire wolves with paper armor. Oh, they're in the swamp? That sucks. But now, why would I be afraid of dire wolves? I don't have paper armor anymore. And it might be a Webnex or Noxers, which is all very good. Which way are they going? Ugh, this contract is going to take too long to do. Come on. Okay, they're going north. Okay, they're doubling back to the town. Kind of dire wolves. Yep, three dire wolves. Three dire wolves, you say? That's nothing. Three dire wolves can wreck you if you have absolutely no armor. They're not going to wreck me because I got a hedge knight and this, like... Imagine if all these guys has paper armor. My hedge knight misses the 70% and then misses at 80% or whatever. And the paper armor guys get shredded in the first attacks. That doesn't sound pleasant, does it? Let's get a little closer. Equip the spear. Dagger is not going to do much here. Axe. I'd much rather have the accurate spears than the axe, even though the axes do much more damage. You just need to crush their morale. I'll even equip this other pitchfork for some tactical flexibility. But yeah, now I'm not afraid of direwolves. I have armor. Why would I be afraid of direwolves? Huh. One, two. Go up. Because these enemies are guaranteed to be faster than us, we do want the maximum surround. So we wait. Obviously, my Hedge Knight has to move there to do the best attack. Who has the best defense? My Servant. You go up. Nah, you should really go up. I don't want to put anyone there. That would be very bad. Um... Because you get flanked unnecessarily. Kind of want to spear walk, but yeah, just make them charge me. What's your uh, defense 20 versus 23? I mean, it's basically the same thing. All right, up you go. Gonna wait. Ah, uh, they're having some morale problems. Well, I think we just want to kill that one as fast as possible. Nice. Cut arm sinew is a beautiful injury. Um, let's try to finish that one off. Oh! Shield wall to try to avoid some of that damage. Good thing I have better than paper armor, isn't it? Get to maximum surround bonuses. Wait for this one to run. All right, let's see if I can't feed some kills to my uh, Edge Knight. 
I'm actually gonna pass my turn here in the hopes of feeding kills to the Hedge Knight. Obviously gonna run them down. Okay, I, I mean... So what I'm gonna do, I'll, I'll just show you. This is very boring, but... I'm passing all their turns because I want to make sure the Hedge Knight gets the kill. All right, beautiful. Got some food, strange meat. We're not very picky about what we eat. These pelts can be sold for money. I mean, you can craft them too, but right now we just need money. Um, best of all, the town will no longer have terrified villagers. This is what I love doing, like contracts, leveling up. I'm not afraid of stuff. Let's fight like seven raiders. Well, uh, five raiders and three thugs, let's say. That's what I want. Heck, even like a marksman or two. I'm not afraid of marksmen. Although if I fight marksmen, I want to recruit like two more guys to tank for us. You know, they're, they're arrow catchers, you see. Their job is to catch arrows for the rest of my crew. Alright, I'm gonna... Well, I might as well do level ups. Level ups are important. So, ooh. Huh. Well, we've kind of gone down the tanking path for you. The plus three melee, like it just, you, you'll never be good at melee. With 43 starting melee, which is horrific, you'll just never be good. If you're going down the Battleforge tanking path, you still need hit points. And I think you can actually get away with a little less resolve than you can with a little less hit points. You're going down the Battleforge tanking route. So next turn will probably be something like Shield Expert. You just need stats and you need above all else hit points. Like even Battleforge characters need like 70, 80 hit points. Servant. Sure, I'll take that fatigue. You're not going to be long-term material here, so your bad resolve is uh, acceptable. Yeah, gifted. Do I actually want to up your defense? I mean, probably. You can kind of off-tank for us. And I can't pass up, like, that good of a melee attack row. So you're now, like, actually useful. You're still, like, a quote-unquote martyr. I name you Meh Tank. Like, none of these are in game characters, but what are you gonna do, right? Uh, unequip this stuff before I forget. Alright. Um, I mean, these are better. You're actually fine on hit point and fatigue, but you do want resolve, for sure. Also gifted, because you are definitely a lot long-term material. Your stats are quite solid. Let's up your resolve so you don't panic. That's your main weakness. Yep. Let's go nimble with your dodge to take advantage of that initiative. What I'm going to do is give you backstabber and a dagger next round. With your sky high initiative, let's hope you can dagger some enemies down. Ah, this is excellent. This is shockingly good. Let's get a little bit of that morale up. You're definitely not long term material, but you're like a better than average martyr. Like, you've got good rolls so far. 10 melee defense at level 3 for a starting character is solid. I think if we patch you up a little more with Gifted, you might... You're very solid. We could use you for a significant amount of time. Yeah, getting you to 45 resolve. Good, good. Most of my characters have some resolve. This is making me feel... Much better now. Alright. Um, I'm gonna pause the video as I go back to Kai Wider, and I'm probably not gonna... Like, I'm gonna go to Camera's Mark next, so... Probably cut everything until I get to camera's mark. Alright, let's see. What can we do at camera's mark? Blah, blah, blah. We can sell. Thanks to the ambush trade routes. Yes, this silver weir is not going to get any better. I don't need the wolf pelts, but I do want the money. 
I honestly the wooden flail is too crappy to use. I'll sell that. And uh, I will actually keep everything else. I need to buy tools, but I can't buy the 500 crown tools. Uh, we have just enough to repair our current gear. Alright, who can I hire? What do we got here? Farmhand, thanks to my rules, I can't even fire you. I mean, hire you. Cripple, I don't want to cripple. Apprentices aren't the worst. I think we just need another guy right now. Yep. I mean, they're pretty bad apprentices. Daytailers are also... I've gotten good daytailers before. You know what? I'd rather take the daytailer. Yeah, I mean, you're a martyr. I mean, you're pretty terrible. I also haven't found a single usable range character. Which is always nice, but you know what? You're a uh, usable. Alright, what sort of contracts we got here? Escort caravan. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Cronin Coog. I just came from there. I don't like doing escorts anymore because they take too long. And I don't want to escort caravan to a big city. If I'm doing any sort of escort, it's to a small city with trade goods. Blah, blah, blah. Um, he wants me to go and kill some brigands at a camp, I believe. Yes, I'll do this. I mean, there's a chance there's a, like, a very small chance there's a fame item there, but I'm, I don't care about that. There will probably be some raiders and stuff we can kill to get their loot. We have plenty of money now. This town, um... Just need to buy, like, some tools. Our stronghold is also very close. After we kill that, where do we go? I think we want to go to Grund Forest, Weizendorf, Langholz, and Obstad because I need to screen for hunters, poachers, and like ranged characters now. And then we'll probably head kind of back south, fight some more brigands once we get a full set of raider loot. Uh, the world's our oyster. All right. Um, this is a good place to pause the video. In the next one, we're going to go fight some more brigands and uh, loot. At this point, I'd be happy with a couple more brigand thug armor. But yeah, thank you for watching. Until next time.